Welcome back. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of Liverpool Cathedral, which is one of the biggest cathedrals in the world, and I hope you like the tour of its culture and heritage. We are now in a lady chapel and lots of the intricate sculptures have been created by Carlson Preston. As you can see, the project are over 60 years to complete. They depict Merge of Virgin Mary and several other um, aspects, for example, the Annunciation of Jesus Christ. So this is the high altar, which is surrounded by a gorgeous reredos, which is created of ornamental brass and of intricate elements. This is a photograph of Gerald Scott, and he wasn't around architect at the time of starting to build the cathedral. He actually won a competition, and he was only 22 when the project began. So we are now in the children's chapel and there's small intricate bronze statues of children to commemorate all the children lost in the past. It was created by Edward Preston. This is the largest organ in the UK and it has over 10,000 pipes and it was built by Sir Henry and Willis. Our Best Friend, poem by Gary Bunt. I walk beside my master through valleys over hills. Today we have come to say a prayer amongst the daffodils. They nailed our best friends to a cross, then left them all alone. We wanted to say goodbye to him before he goes back home. Back to heaven with his father, God who loves us all. He loves the world, he loves us dogs, God loves Liverpool. Scott would later on go to design other British landmarks, such as the iconic red telephone box, envision a cathedral that would blend traditional Gothic elements with modern sensibilities. We are now at the top of the Liverpool Cathedral, we're in the tower part, and it is the third highest tower in the world and it measures over 100 meters long. We are now at the porch which is named Wellsford after a ship owner from Liverpool. So as I'm now living in Liverpool I'd like to try an original and traditional scout station called obviously scouts, so let's see how it goes. Liverpool Cathedral, also known as the Cathedral Church of Liverpool, is a monumental example of Gothic Revival architecture and the largest cathedral in Britain. Its origins date back to the early 20th century, when Liverpool, a growing industrial hub, sought a grand cathedral to reflect its prestige. Charles Gilbert Scott, a 22-year-old student, won the architecture competition in 1902, blending Gothic elements with modern sensibilities. The construction began in 1904 and through interrupted by world wars, the cathedral was constructed in 1924 and fully completed in 1978. The cathedral's exterior, made of local red sandstone, features towering arches and a 100 meter high tower, while its vast interior includes the UK's largest nave and significant stained glass, like the Great West Window. Over time, it has evolved from a purely religious site to a cultural landmark, hosting events and art exhibitions. The cathedral symbolizes Liverpool's spiritual and cultural heritage, combining traditional and modern elements to inspire visitors.